lots of focus on brass bands coming up in the next half hour. Uh, some of them are struggling, and I'm uh, not happy about that because I'm a lover of brass band music. The Fairy Band are here. Uh, we'll go into their history in a moment, but they're one of the most famous bands, brass bands, on the planet. Uh, they're going to play a few songs for us now. Here's their first one. It's uh, familiar from Brastoff. It's called The Clog Dance. <laughs> need a meter to make me cry tonight i love brass band music when i go you better have one playing for me brilliant stuff more from the more from the boys and girls shortly i love brass band music but i've already got myself in trouble a few times tonight one talking over your music i do apologize. hello everyone by the way Good hello uh, i apologize for talking over the end of the clog dance there uh, faye we've had an instruction on the text what i need to do next time haven't we to avoid yeah that it's scenario. actually quite helpful uh yeah. let me find this text it says, it's from Trumpet Mike, it says, whoops, all that build-up, all that waiting, and you talk over the end of the music. Yeah. Yeah. Next time, watch the conductor. I should have watched you, Mark, because you knew what you were doing. Uh, we're going to have some more tunes from the boys and girls uh, very shortly. I just want to solve the debate about spitting, because earlier on we were talking about, I, I thought brass bands had spittoons beneath their uh, chairs, and they tip their instruments into them. Now, what's the response on the text, Faye? People are saying otherwise, aren't they? Mark, do you, has, has that ever been the case? Not to my recollection, no. no. Well, why, when, I, when I've seen brass bands, and I've seen a few in my time, they have leant forward and liquids emerge from the end of their instruments. That is true. That does happen. That's to do with the breath and the condensation in the instrument, which you've got to release. And it just goes onto the floor. True. Uh, I've, got a, I've, the, I've got a young trombonist here nodding at me there. Hello, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name is Paul. Paul, what, so you just have excess liquid, it goes on the floor? It certainly does, yeah. If you tip the wrong way at a crucial moment, would it go back into your mouth? It certainly would, yeah. <laughs> Is that something you'd never considered before? <laughs> it's certainly something I've never considered, no. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Hey, there's always a, there's always a first time. So, uh, I'm going to go over here now to speak to Martin Gernon, who's the percussionist, or just drummer, really, or do you play other things, Martin? 
other things as well, Tony. <laughs> You've not bothered bringing anything else with you, though, tonight? No, we just brought the bare essentials tonight. OK. Uh, you're the chairman of the band as well, and uh, you've been a member for six years. Just talk to me. The reason we, we, we've got you guys in tonight is because we're, we're sort of highlighting the plight of the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, and they're rivals of yours, I know that, in the uh, heated world... Ooh, it's like being in a panto. Uh, in the heated world of, of brass band. But they're struggling. They say they may have to close. So we're going to talk about their plight shortly. How are you doing and how is brass band music doing generally? We're doing OK, Tony. Um, and we do OK because we're on a tight ship. And we have to. Um, it's no secret that um, brass banding over the last 20 years has gone a little bit out of fashion, but it's now coming back in. There's more and more youngsters getting involved in it now. And we are at the forefront of it. And uh, we love what we do. Uh, we get to play in the best venues in the UK and all around Europe. And it's a great privilege to be a part of this. Yeah, you've played in the Great Hall at Tate Modern for one, haven't you? Yes, we have. And we're, as well as we have a, the traditional band, we also do uh, a formation called Acid Brass, which uh, we've developed in the last few years. And it's a fusion between acid house music and brass bands. Sounds strange, but it works, and all the youngsters love it. And what's, what kind of tunes do you lay down? Uh, we've done see, see, uh, yeah. <laughs> things like Thing from S Express, Can You Dance, uh, Pacific 202, Cubic, uh, uh, loads. We've done two albums of it, um, and it's so popular. Yeah, uh, the reason I've got I've, my love affair with brass goes back years, but I'm a northern lad, and I can remember as a kid all the regional... Uh, TV stations up here had brass band competitions. The BBC used to run brass band of the year, didn't they? I think you're, f you're former champions, aren't you, of that? We are. They used to run uh, two competitions, Champion Brass and uh, Bandstand, and we won them both on a number of occasions. So is it a regional thing? Will a lot of people be listening to this around the UK thinking, well, it's, you know, I might hear a brass band once a year at Christmas? No, it's, it's a UK-wide. There's around 2,000 bands in the UK. Um, there's about the same number in Europe now. It's a fast-growing um, music <laughs> genre in Europe and even though some bands are closing other bands are opening up but it's certainly not a northern thing anymore all right have we got the top troops here tonight or just the ones who could be bothered turning up a bit of both a bit of both all right <laughs> let's see who's who hello uh, you're a very young man what's your name my name is Benjamin uh, Benjamin what what brings you into a brass band well, how old are you by the way how old am I yeah. Just turned 23. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm actually from France, so I'm not sure you're speaking to the right person. You're from France? <laughs> what, what, even more, what brings you to this brass band? Uh, well, I, uh, I came to the UK to study about, actually, brass bands. I came, actually, to Salford, where we are right now, um, and uh, eventually joined the Fairy Band, where I'm playing right now. OK, and what's your instrument? It's called the Soprano Cornet. Uh, it's just like those cornets there, yeah. but a bit, a bit more Better. Are you Are you more of a specialist? Uh, it's a specialist instrument, but I'm not sure I'm a specialist. <laughs> okay. uh, so this is the coordinate section here. I'll have a 99. Hey, hey! How many times have you heard that over the years? Uh, what have we got here? We've got two young ladies here. Which section is this? Hello, what's your name? Uh, Julie. And Julie, why have you uh, joined the band? What got you interested? Uh, well, originally, um, my father was a, a brass player, and so I started at quite a young age, um, and I've just kind of carried on, went to university and studied, and then ended up in the fairy band. Excellent. And this young lady here is desperately trying to avoid my gaze, but I've seen her. <laughs> she can't hide behind that uh, oboe. <laughs> what is it? Tenor horn. Tenor horn, I knew it was, yeah. What's your name? Laura. Uh, and Laura, same story. How did you get into the band? It's pretty much the same thing. Everyone in my family sort of played, so I just followed them into that. And same story as Julie. Studied at uni and then ended up at the ferry band. OK. All right, uh, we're going to have another song. What, what's coming next, Mark? We're going to do Black Magic Woman. Black Magic Woman. Initially a hit for... Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac, yeah, it is, yeah, good. Okay, let's have a bit of let's have a bit of Fleetwood Mac then, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fairy band, the legendary fairy band with Black Magic Woman.
gentleman there was watching the conductor's every move. Brilliant. Uh, really good. That was Black Magic Woman by... Uh, Peter Green is the composer. Yeah, no, it was Santana, not Fleetwood Mac. But very good. Uh, another tune from the band coming up very shortly. The funny thing here is Dotton's coming to prepare for Up All Night and his studio doors are wide open so he can't do a stroke because <laughs> the band are playing. But that's all right, he's enjoying it. Martin Gernon's still here from the Fairy Band, who are with me. Say hello again, everybody. Hello. hello. Another tune to come from the boys and girls in just a sec. And Martin... Uh, it's it's interesting, isn't it? Because brass bands are rooted in the community, but in some sense, you've got to kind of take that tradition on board, but move on in the way that you said you, you now do your acid brass. Absolutely, you do. Um, it's the same with any other product, any other business. You have to change, you have to adapt, you have to innovate, or you die. And we've certainly done this over here at Fairies, and it's why we're still going strong, why we're self-supported, and why we don't have the sort of problems that we've just been hearing about. Uh, from Grimethorpe, which is sad to hear. All right, sad to hear from them, but good news for you. What's the final tune, Mark? What were you going to play for us? We are going to go out with an old... Hang on, hang on, oh, hang on. Here we go. We're going to go out with an old traditional one that we did on New Year's Day, actually. Radetzky marks by Johann Strauss to bring the new year in, as in Vienna. Excellent. Well, just hold it, hold on for a second, because we've had loads of texts in about, about you guys. So, Faye, just, just rattle through a couple of them. Yes, Sue in the Wirral says, Loving the brass band music. Could we have a tune every night, just after 11.30pm? Yeah. Uh, someone else simply says, Blimey, this black magic woman is good there's also a bit of a row uh, emerging about the black magic woman it was done by P fleetwood mac it was originally yeah i wish i'd never mentioned it now yeah well so do i because the text <laughs> machine's gone mad um every... next time we do something by the wurzels <laughs> then we're all happy crawford says loving the brass band uh, bill in, in huntingdon says watching the brass bands walking to bellevue in manchester for the championships in the 60s what a grand sight happy days mm. and colin in durham thank you so much for bringing back happy memories remembering the brass bands in the park on Sunday afternoons. All right, well, let's go to the gratuitous plug bit now. Mark, where can people find you over the next few days and weeks if they want to have a look at you in the flesh? Well, we've actually got a, a concert coming up at the Royal Northern, a part of a festival of brass. We'll be there on the 26th of January with several other brass That's bands. in Manchester, yeah. In Manchester, Royal Northern. That's a big series. Um, and we've got other things planned. All our details are on the website, the Fairy Band. Uh, dot com the details about that we've got a, a trip to holland in july for the world yeah, we best not mention that had we well maybe not why not i don't know oh it's not a, just a band trip you actually do oh it's professional right i well, thought you was going for a weekend no, 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 no. <laughs> we're actually playing and representing so <laughs> oh no where are you going then what, what's that all about uh, that's kirk Hard in, in holland uh, and we've been invited over there so we're looking forward to that in july uh, it's the World Championships. Right. Uh, we've got lots of concerts coming up in right. the new year. Well, let's give people a sample of what they might be able to hear. This is the Rudetsky March, then, uh, by Johann Strauss. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
fantastic stuff. The fairy. I'll tell you what, if that's not put a smile on everyone in Great Britain who's listening to that, uh, then I'm a... Uh, well, I don't know Frenchman. what... I'm, I'm a Frenchman, yeah. <laughs> We've got one in the studio, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Right, Dotton's here. Dotton's a musical connoisseur. He's been, oh, yeah, on, well, he's been on stage with The Clash. What do you make of that? Well, I love it, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's not a brass band, that's a brass orchestra. Yeah. You know, it's teamwork no, that you've seen there. Uh, it's been really good of you to come in, guys, because I know it just takes a lot of time and effort to bring all this equipment with you and everything. So thank you very much. Loads of people. The text machine's revolving with people saying lovely things. Faye, what have, what have people got to say? Uh, Richard in Buxton says, Loving the brass band music. Takes me back to the whip marches in Saddleworth when I was a boy playing my cordit. Uh, someone else says, That brass band is absolutely cracking. And they also say, You must make it play your programme theme tune. Great to play in and out. Oh, yeah. Well, Your eyes lit up then, Tony. Yeah, we hadn't <laughs> thought about that. Have you got another? hour. <laughs> oh, I'll take that as a no. Right, uh, guys, once again, thank you very much indeed. Good luck in the future. Thanks very much. Give yourselves a round of applause because there's more of you than us. It's the Fairy Band, everybody. <laughs>